Welcome to the seventh tutorial in our series about getting started with Excel Deploy. In the last tutorial, we walked through the process of updating a deployed application. In this tutorial, we'll see how you can deploy an older version of an application. We'll also discuss Excel Deploy's unique approach to rolling back fully or partially completed deployments. When you want to update a deployed application, the process is the same whether you're upgrading to a new version or downgrading to a previous version. For example, version 2.0 of an application is running in my development environment. I'll downgrade it to 1.0 now. First, I drag the deployed application to the deployment workspace. Then I drag in the 1.0 package. Just like when I perform an upgrade, the deployment plan is optimized, so it only contains the steps that are required to take the application from version 2.0 to version 1.0. I just have to execute the plan and Excel Deploy updates the application. So what happens if you're performing an update or an initial deployment and something goes wrong? Maybe a step in the deployment plan fails or you realize that you need to stop and undo the changes that have already been made. Let's see what happens. I've set up a deployment that will upgrade my application from version 2.0 to 3.0. During the upgrade, Excel Deploy will destroy, modify, and create files on one application server and will deploy the application for the first time on a second application server. I'll execute the plan and it fails. This leaves me with one server that has been updated and restarted, but the application hasn't been deployed to my second server. At this point, I have a few options. I could fix the problem and continue executing the plan, or I could skip the failed step and try to go on, or I could roll back the part of the plan that has already been done. As Excel Deploy was executing the deployment plan, it automatically created checkpoints to record the changes that it made, much like a database does. When I click Rollback, Excel Deploy uses these checkpoints to build a plan that will undo the changes. I don't have to spend time figuring out how to roll back from the step that failed or writing and testing scripts that will restore the previous state. I just execute the rollback plan and Excel Deploy returns the application and target environment to the state they were in before I started the upgrade. Excel Deploy is the only tool in the market that supports fully automated rollbacks no matter where the deployment plan fails. For technologies where there are multiple ways you can approach rollbacks, like databases, Excel Deploy offers configurable options. You can find more information about this in our plugin manuals. And because Excel Deploy integrates into your continuous delivery environment, you can easily set up automated rollbacks using Jenkins or another CI tool.